Hello everybody, and welcome to another episode of Wednesday's Warcraft, where I talk about World of Warcraft, what I've done this previous week, and some of what's been going on. Well, just recently, they've come out with patch 4.2. Ragnaros is back now. And I'm really enjoying this patch a lot so far. I've been doing the new set of dailies, and there's an interesting quest line that you can do with Thrall to get you a new back piece. It's epic. You fight a lot of elementals in different planes. It's kind of like the elemental invasion back when Cataclysm started. But you know, you get in there and whoever's in there with you, you just go in there and you kill a lot of elementals and you listen to Thrall's girlfriend trying to talk sense into his spirit first in the plane of air, then water, then earth, then fire. With each one, you got to kill a certain amount of NPCs. But, you know, they're big and powerful, and you don't have to kill them all by yourself. You know, there's a lot of people in there, and all that everybody kills contributes toward, you know, your account. But one thing which I do have a little problem with is that when you die, your account is set back to zero. Now, I happen to be on a PvP server. I'm not complaining about the PvP server, because I know what I got into when I got into, you know, a PvP server, and I like it, but if you're killed by another player, or if you die to the mobs, your kill count should not be reset to zero. In my opinion, your kill count should be frozen at whatever you were at when you died. You come back and continue because other people that are in that phase are at their own number and their own progression in the storyline. So what's, I mean, how hard is it just continue from where you are instead of having to listen to some story element you've heard already because some um, buddy on the other faction killed you when you were at, at your 100 count and having to do the whole episode over again. Nah, I just think it would have been a lot, e a lot better if they just said it that way. But enough about that. And they have a new set of dailies, which is pretty interesting. The new marks now are, you know, the mark of the world trees. And you get these, and I suppose to go further at, and along the line, you'll be able to do more things. And oh, the amount of dailies you do opens up new quest areas. You know how, like in the in the Trial of Crusaders. It was kind of in steps. You had your construction area, and you had your one set of dailies that everybody could do until it was done, and you went into a different phase. But this is different. It's set up to where every character that you play will be starting at the beginning. You'll have your own progression. And one thing cool that they're doing with the phasing technology these days compared to what they were doing if you're on a different part of the story than a friend of yours who's in a group, you'll still be able to group together. You won't be phased away from each other, but they will be seeing one version of the gaming environment and you will be seeing another, which is something which they should have done before in the first place. This whole thing of them disappearing back in wrath kind of hurt things a lot because I don't know how many of you tried to quest with friends in certain areas in Wrath of the Lich King that were phased and you couldn't because you were on a different area than somebody else. It was an awesome idea, but it just wasn't implemented as perfectly as it should have been. And I think now that they've got now they've got that thing they've got that fixed. One thing I would have liked to have seen 
is maybe even you know, with this expansion, a new battleground. We haven't gotten any new battlegrounds since the start of Cataclysm. And you know, we've had you know, one event which is similar to Lake Wintergrasp, and we get Battle of Gilneas, which is basically a reskin of Arathi Basin, and uh, Twin Peaks, which is Warsaw Gulch done over again. Please, Blizzard, bring us new battlegrounds. Bring us something unique, something that hasn't been done before. And I'm, I'm liking doing this rep grinding, you know, this trash killing in the new raid dungeon, the Firelands. What I've seen of it, this looks like, in my opinion, that the Firelands is going to be an awesome raid content. Whole big, huge outdoor areas with a lot of mobs to kill and wandering bosses. If you've had any experience with killing trash or maybe even killing a boss or two in the Firelands, please post below. And, you know, if you like this video and like what I do, please subscribe and, you know, please comment and post and thumbs up. Because believe me, it helps me. It, it lets me know that people are out there listening. And one thing that I want to say is that when we get up to, as a reminder, you know, I've said a few times before, when we get into 10 subscribers, I will be having a contest for a $10 gift certificate to iTunes. And as always, have fun and keep gaming.